Good morning and welcome to another weekly ocean conditions update from Ross showing the Gulf of Mexico ocean conditions the week of September 13, 2022. Just a quick update this week. Wanted to give everybody an update of where the blue water is, what's going on with the loop current eddy, the loop current, uh, etc. Um, starting off, if you look here south of the Mississippi River Delta, uh, the clockwise rotating loop current eddy has remained detached. It has drifted a bit to the west. Uh, its western edge is now past the Green Canyon. Um, the northern edge of it remains south of the Mississippi Canyon, south of the dump site. Um, as it's drifted to the west, it has allowed some of this green water um, to sort of come out further offshore than it had been in the past couple weeks. Um, got green, green water over the, the Mississippi Canyon, um, clean green, uh, the blue green over the dump site. Uh, you do have a counterclockwise eddy here towards the Atwater Valley. Uh, this, this eddy is bringing some of the blue water that's transitional between the loop current and this eddy. It is bringing it up off to the north over Lloyd's Ridge uh, in towards the area southeast of the Double Nipple, south of the DeSoto Canyon. Um, but if you if you look at this ocean color image, which is taken from the past 48 hours, uh, the northeastern Gulf of Mexico up towards the unexploded ordnance, the Nipple, the Spur, DeSoto Canyon, Double Nipple, the Steps, uh, there still is an abundance of green water up there, unfortunately. Um, there are some good some good color changes where it goes from green to clean green and, and to blue green. There, there will be some fish up there, but uh, it is pretty far disconnected from the main circulation of the loop current and the circulation of this loop current eddy to the west. Uh, the loop current has begun to push up further north a little bit. Um, like I said already, it, it still is disconnected from, from the loop current eddy. Uh, if, you, if you look here, um, this is, this is water coming up from the Yucatan, green water blended in the blue green, coming around the perimeter of the loop current. Some of it is also getting pulled around the perimeter of, of this eddy, so you can really see the southern circulation of this loop current eddy. Uh, over towards the area offshore of Tampa, um, the water is not as clean as it had been. It's, it's really blended, um, blended blue to blue green at best. Uh, the reason being, you do have this this green water that's coming all the way up from from DeSoto Canyon down towards over the ledges, northeast of Lloyd's Ridge, inshore the steps, all the way around down the northeastern edge of the Loop Current, and now down off of the Florida Keys. Uh, if you could see this, there's a lot of green water off of the Keys now, and the main edge of the the Loop Current, which uh, turns into the Florida Current, and then the Gulf Stream is is pretty far offshore off of the Keys. Uh, with all this green water moving down as well. Out towards the west, um, towards Green Canyon, westward towards the Flower Gardens area, um, you do have a counterclockwise rotating eddy in here, you have nice blue water, um, you still have a counterclockwise eddy east of the dump site, south of the Flower Gardens. Um, that's, that's really blended blue to, to blue-green in color now. It's pulling all this water from inshore out around the circulation of the eddy. Uh, further west, you still have offshore of Aransas, Brazos, Santiago Pass. You have a counterclockwise rotating eddy here, coupled with a clockwise rotating eddy to the northeast. Um, that's really pushing nice blue water in over the ledges here, good bottom towards the east breaks. Um, Blended blue green, the blended blue water in over Arandis Bank, Big Southern, uh, those areas out towards the Colt 45, Texas Canyon, um, disused exploded, explosives dumping area. You have a nice edge where it goes blue green, blended blue to blue, being pushed in by these two eddies. And there are some, there's a lot of areas that look favorable. There's a lot of clean water to the west. Um, that's about it. For this week, we'll come at you again next week, Monday, Tuesday, with another update. Uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. Uh, Instagram and Facebook, our handle is at Ross Fishing. Uh, remember, you can always call the office to order, 
888-5759 or you can visit our website 24-7 www.robs.com That's it for this week. Uh, safe fishing the rest of this week and this weekend. Tight lines and we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you.